I remember we had a development meeting sometime last year where we discussed a new controller we were designing with OLED displays for RGB buttons and a lot of nice and cool stuff. And uh, it's designed for eight inputs. So we have a program and a preview row here. The thing is, often people might need more than eight inputs, although this is a pretty standard case. So our normal response to that would be to design a 12 input switching surface. So somebody said, okay, so we need two models, but mm, what if somebody wants to control a robotic camera? They need a joystick. Ah, so we need to uh, make a model with a joystick too. Uh, and then somebody says, oh, um, somebody has a 2ME2, so we need uh, even more buttons or another row in, in this direction and so forth. So quite quickly, it's really difficult to figure out what sort of models you should make. And then it occurs to us, why not make a modular controller series? So here we have it, it's the XC series, and this is the XC3, which is like a cornerstone in the XC series. And what is that modularity all about? Well, so the, the answer to the question about uh, having more inputs is simply, you take another module from the XC series, and then you click it on the side of the existing one, like this. And now you have almost seamlessly a complete controller with these two units combined. You see they even sit together magnetically. So, you, I mean, this is a little bit risky, but they will hold, depending on how long it is, of course. But the cool thing is that for an operator, this is a seamless interface for now 16 inputs, program and preview row, or however you want to configure it. And the guy with the joystick need, he just needs to get the joystick module, joystick, buttons for camera selection, and then he attaches it on the side. So this is the XC series. And even if you had a 2ME switcher and you wanted to have a similar surface, an XC3 more connected to the second ME row, guess what? You can just connect it to the same trunk of controllers, making a great control surface like this. Modularity is great, right? So how does it work? Well, we call this modules and this one to the far right is the master. So master, modules. And the master is where all the control signals goes in and out and the master controls how these modules behave by the configuration over here. But a really awesome thing is that any of these modules can be a master in itself. So when I break this free, and attach Ethernet and power to this one, it will have its own independent configuration. So it makes it really useful because one day you can just attach it to a master and some other modules and it will work as a slave to that. And the next day you could detach it and use it a totally different place. So it brings a lot of value to you that this, this can both be a module and a master on its own. Another nice thing is the one day you have a large production crew and the other one you have a smaller production queue, crew. So if you have a small production queue, uh, crew, you want uh, maybe a single surface for single operator, right? Another day you might want to have two operators. So you want to separate these concerns and say, okay, we have a producer over here and we have another one here for the uh, iMac or the streaming or whatever. And then you can use a cable to connect the modules. So basically separate them, but this is still the master of the whole thing. So that's another great flexible principle embedded in the modular series. With the modular series, you also avoid being afraid of buying a too small controller when you start out because you can always add modules. So let's assume that you purchase this combination with an XC3 and an XC4 at first, but now you want to add a joystick module. So the page be behind me is the online configuration page for this configuration. So you basically see that Unisketch OS is used for um, the modular series as well with the two modules here. And let's now assume that we purchase the joystick module and we want to add this one. So we need a way to add it to the configuration page and that's really easy. What you do is you go to manage modules and then in this corner you add another module and then you choose the camera control module. In this case it's called XC7. And then it's now added, you save the configuration, you go back to controller configuration here, and you'll see that we have now the joystick module added to the controller. What this means is next time we generate a firmware and download it to the controller, we will have support for this module.
But of course, this module is only used by the controller when it's connected. So you still have the flexibility of one day you can breaking the modules off and just use the XC3 without any modules attached. And the next day you can add them because we compile support for those modules into the XC3 master. So whenever we attach them, they will function. So one thing is adding a new module to your XC series. Another thing is how to configure it. And in case with the joystick module, chances are that you have a robotic camera you want to control. So uh, we could take a look at how we can add devices to this configuration. Again, this is really easy. We just go here and add devices. So it brings us over to the device core page where we can easily add another device. So on this list, we are browsing now for the robotic camera we want to control. And let's say it's a uh, Sony PTC camera. So uh, we find this, the Sony BRC-H900 camera. It's a um, VSCA protocol over IP. So we add this guy and then um, we save the settings. And we can now go back to the controller configuration page. And then with the joystick module, it's now really easy to assign this to control robotic cameras from Sony. We uh, could press the joystick component here and then we'll see for um, the left, right, and the up, down uh, directions. We can now assign these to, in this case, pan for the left, right, and we could select tilt for the up, down, and so forth. Of course, for the buttons for camera selection down here, we want to assign those to selecting which camera the joystick is operating. But this is all details that I'll not go into now, but you can see how flexible it is and how it's so easy to expand your XC series to basically solve whatever control need you have.